the Q Radio Pets Corner with Brandy Dog Food because they're 100% family. You know you're giving them the best. Q Radio. Q Radio. Welcome to Pets Corner with me, Sharon Jennings. Today we'll be finding out if different breeds of dogs need different types of exercise. And we talk to the Dogs Trust about a fantastic new app to brighten up anybody's day. The Q Radio Pets Corner. Now there's no doubt that all dogs need exercise, but do some need more than others? Well, joining me is Maria Orr from IVA Veterinary Services in Bambridge. You're very welcome, Maria. Thank you, Sharon. So, Maria, is it true that some dogs need more exercise than others? It is true. I think exercise requirements depend on the age and the breed of the dog and the health of the individual. There's no two that are the same. There's no two of one particular breed that are the same. You know, it it really is an individual requirement, but on the whole, you can say that they probably need more exercise than a lot of people think they do. Well, I've read somewhere, Maria, that they should have three to four half-hour exercises a day and it's also where a lot of people would think gosh I could never do that it's just too much that is a huge commitment and that does sound a lot I mean there's many dogs would just absolutely adore three to four half hour sessions a day but I think most people lead very busy lives and that's probably not practical but certainly I think probably a realistic expectation would be 30 to 60 minutes a day for most dogs and that whether they're a little lap dog type or whether they're a larger breed a lot of it goes back to what dogs were bred to do Mm. initially you know were they working dogs they do require a lot of exercise in the day whereas maybe something like a bulldog they're short they're stocky their breathing ability is compromised so a short walk you know a few times a day is more appropriate for that. And I think it's personalities as well. I mean, the two Bichons that have been in my life, Bichon Frises, one is absolutely addicted to walking and the other Bichon hated walking. Absolutely. I mean, she would sit down on her bottom and not move and you would have to drag her to the door to get her out. So I guess it depends even within a breed from the dog personalities. Definitely. I think most of us who have dogs, we're aware each one is individual. They all have their own personality and a bit like people, some are more energetic than others and some are lazier than others. And it's about striking a balance and I think probably encouraging the lazier ones to keep going and enjoy their walk. But the really energetic type of dog, you need to exercise it both physically and mentally because if you don't, you're going to create behavioural problems, whether that's the dog that you hear about that chews everything, a dog that barks continually, digging holes in the garden. You know, these are kind of behavioural issues and it's usually because the animal has become bored. So you have to, I think, just get the balance right, enjoy the walks and uh, keep your keep your dog occupied if you don't want it to become destructive. Well, thank you very much, Maria. That's a pleasure. That's Maria or from IVA Veterinary Services in Bambridge. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. Remember, Brandy Dog Food has teamed up with Stenaline to give away 50 return crossings to the UK for your car, dog and four passengers. Pick up special promotion packs of Brandy and enter at brandydogfood.com or on Facebook. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. Now we're well into the gloom of the winter months and there's nothing gloomier than checking the weather every day to find out that it's going to be cold and rain, especially here in Northern Ireland. But the Dogs Trust have come up with an app for your phone which will definitely brighten up the gloomiest of winter's day and that is their dog app. And joining me is Jackie O'Born from the Dogs Trust. You're very welcome, Jackie. Good morning. So Jackie, what exactly is your dog app? Well, this is a new app called Weather Puppy. And what we've done is we've collaborated with an app builder who creates this weather app. So you can see what the weather's like every day. And with every change in weather, you get a different puppy from Dogs Trust to have a look at. So whether it's sunny, you'll get a very sunny, happy puppy. When it's raining, you'll get one that maybe isn't so happy because he's sitting inside in the rain. I have downloaded the app onto my phone. And what you also can do, which is really lovely, is you can upload pictures of your own dog, which is what I've done, which means that when you're checking the weather, you see your own little puppy. That's right. We've tried to make it as accessible to everybody. So if you want to put your own dog on there, there's no problem at all. And I tell you what, Jackie, it really does cheer you up. Oh, I'm glad. And in terms of fundraising, how will this help? Well, what it is, buy the Dogs Trust uh, dogs onto your app. 
does cost a small fee and we're getting a large percentage of that fee. So the money will, will go towards the dogs in our care. And Jackie, it couldn't go to a better place. So thank you very much for brightening my day up anyway. All right, no problem at all. The Q Radio Pets Corner.